glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Anomaly found.
with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on Collision this? Collision is imminent. All stop, now! Ships, a dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Ethanola, Farhan and Gasad Regara. Ethanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? Hey, Hamdor goes. Mason Roa.
I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. <clears throat> Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. At least it's not the Ket. What's happening? We have a visitor. This isn't safe. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. How did it find us? He, not it. And stop staring. I can't see. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. Everything will be fine. Ephra will have it. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We're nothing like them. In fact, maybe we can help each other out. We made that mistake when the Ket arrived. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, 
This is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. Me too. I've got a nice my analysis of Aya. Ready to fly. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. The Moshai is alive. I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone, can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's Nangara right here. Let's hear from the new guy.
One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Still compiling. Saw we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps. But he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always Good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? 
Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel, from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.